Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use Excel to calculate some annualized returns of a series of investments. Okay, so I've got some fake investments here set up in Excel. They have various investment dates. The, all the initial principal investments were $10,000, and they all have some random current value. So I want to use Excel to calculate the annualized return. Some of these investments were obviously less than a year. Some of them are more than a year. And I want to find out what the annual return is so that I can make a better comparison with them. So I've got a spreadsheet started up. And I'm going to start to put in some data or do some calculations to get the information I need to make my annualized return formula as easy as possible. First is the easiest one, I think. And I need to determine the gain of these investments. So I'm simply going to be equal to the current value minus the initial investment. And I'll auto fill that down so that we can see I've got some positive returns. I did have one as a negative. OK, sounds good. Now for days invested, this is obviously going to be different, but I'm going to base this on today's date. So this calculation is going to be equal to the today function, which will give me the current date, um, minus the investment. And for this first one, it's 227. Now, if for some reason you're not getting what seems like a realistic number here, make sure that your cell is formatted in comma style. For instance, if it was formatted in um, date style, you might get some weird result like that. But if you format it in comma style, and I can get rid of a couple of um, decimals, that sounds realistic. From March 3rd to today's date, which is about October 16th, that's less than a year. So 227 days, and I can auto fill this down. So we've got the gain, which is simply the current value of the investment minus the actual investment, and the days invested, which is today's date minus the investment date, and that result is in days. Now the total return isn't really going to be um, necessary for the annualized return, but it's nice to compare what these numbers might be um, to each other. So my total re return is going to be pretty easy. It's simply going to be my, uh, I'll do parentheses to force the order of operations here. But it's going to be my current value minus my investment divided by the investment. So the new number minus the old number divided by the old number. And now I've got those returns on there. Now, of course, these total returns are based over things other than a year, so they're a little bit misleading. Now for what we're really here for, the annualized return. And the annualized return is kind of a tricky formula. I'll display the whole formula down here, but um, let's go ahead and type it into Excel so we can see how that works. So I'm always going to start with an equal sign for my calculation, and I'm going to add a set of parentheses. First thing I'm going to do is take the investment plus the gain. So I'll click on the cell that contains my investment plus the cell that contains my gain. And it's OK. Some of them will have a loss. That's, that's perfectly normal. And I'm going to enclose that in parentheses. Now I want to divide this by the investment. So I'm going to divide by the investment amount. Now that I've got this in there, I want to use an exponent to raise this whole thing. So I am going to enclose a set of parentheses around this formula. I'm going to use my exponent. And for this one, I'm going to take the number of days in the year. Notice I added a parenthesis, 365, divided by the number of days of the investment. So I'm taking the number of days per year divided by the days of the investment. Close that in parentheses and minus 1. So I've got my investment plus my gain divided by my investment. And then I'm doing an exponent, number of days per year, divided by the total number of days of the investment, minus 1. I'm going to press Enter, and we'll get an annualized return. I'll click on this formula and autofill it downward. And so now it's a little bit easier to make comparison amongst investments, assuming they're similar kinds of investments. So although these two investments, I'll go ahead and highlight them real quick. These two investments, same investment, and the current values are not too far off. This gain is also going to be 12,000, current value. So now the gains are very similar, 
but because the differences in days invested, we see still a much better annualized return over the shorter period investment. Okay, so that's the annualized return using Excel.